Hey everybody, welcome back to CEO. We are here at 10 a.m. on Saturday to play Melee. Uh, yes, we are. Yeah, my name is Jack, this is Zoo. Hello. Hello. Uh, we're still doing uh, early pools. Today is going to be pools into top 64 all the way down to our top eight, and then top eight will take place tomorrow. Exactly. Uh, so it's going to be a journey. This is kind of the day that we tend to see uh, uh, clashes of titans and upsets. Uh, I think it'll be fun. It will be. 10 a.m. pools. For the casters, you know, that that's already uh, it's quite early, but for the players, that's even harder, right? And uh, kind of interesting. So I guess for the players today, I think it's three F pools. Yeah, F1, F2, F3. This will be their first time playing this tournament, huh? Yeah. So, so if they if they book Florida, uh, Friday flights, they're 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 doing great, right? You <laughs> yeah, come in, yeah. You come in Friday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but then they can go right into top 64. So for the people who make it out of this pool, yeah. I wonder that that might even be an advantage because they they can carry on that momentum of winning through winners or losers, right? I'm a big believer that uh, sleep deprived smashers who stayed up too late and then show up to pools in the morning are some of the best uh, at this game. I've never seen a performance drop off. I've only seen performance improvement from not having sleep. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, let me tell you. Yeah. It. <laughs> well, I, okay, well, you I, were saying you've got, you've got, you just, you just chug coffee, and that's that's the solution to this problem in one respect. No, that is not the that is not the solution. It's to get good sleep. It's the meditate. It's to read a book, get a banana. Do you want it? Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so energy for days. Listen, yes. This and this is this is not sponsored. You know, we love we love bananas just as a fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, eventually, I think that that the fruit, you know, maybe they'll sponsor us. Maybe we'll go the other way around. Dole Jackzilla? No, I don't want I don't want a brand. I just want the fruit. <laughs> oh, I want just banana, banana Jackzilla. as a whole. Yeah, yeah, Who yeah. owns the rights to bananas? Oh, that's what I'm saying, man. It's, it, it belongs to all of us. We don't talk about that enough. We don't talk about who owns bananas. Uh, but it could be you. All you have to do is go and grab a banana, and I guess that means it's a little bit of you. Uh, <laughs> Peter versus Baby Carrot. Speaking of healthy foods, uh, <laughs> I love a Baby Carrot. Uh, when I grew up, they told me that it helped my eyesight, and I don't believe them anymore. I think that's one of those things they just say that isn't true about carrots. My parents have definitely told me that. All right, yeah. let me... Get a little bit of information on these players. So Peter. Oh, okay. I, so this is a Jacksonville ditto. So Peter and the baby carrot both from Jacksonville. Dude, Jacksonville proud. Very proud. Well, I guess does it even out because there's gonna be one winner and one loser? Yeah, Jacksonville will be. Yeah, they, they will be. be proud and they will just be. Hey, hey, we'll, we're <laughs> proud of you for showing up. Listen, <laughs> the, the, history is not written by the people that stayed home because they they didn't want to lose on stream. They're, it's written by the people that showed up because maybe I win on stream. Right. And if I lose, that's okay too. It just it just sometimes hurts a little. It does, but what does not? Uh, you know. What you got you got to get in the arena. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Falco and Puff. Uh, I feel I'm, I'll even speak from like a little bit of the the, the Puff perspective how I feel playing it. Okay. Uh, very annoyed and like uh, I'm being bothered all the time. Is this the goal of Falco? You trying to bother me? One hundred percent. I I feel like with Puff and Falco, it's kind of like an, a, a weird stalemate all the time because. Falco has these lasers that kind of just protect that like line in front of Falco. Uh -huh. Jigglypuff naturally hovers in the area that Falco cannot hit very easily. So it, it's just like I think both of them are just trying to be in that range that is just for, like that that the other person cannot cover very well. As I say that, uh, an more importantly, dash. yeah, I, I don't think I don't think you're really you know seeing the matchup as it is. What you want to be doing is forward smashing. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you have that corner pressure. Yeah. Puff's forward smash, actually a really good forward smash. Oh, it's so strong. Not huge range, but very, very, very powerful. Yeah. One of her strongest moves. Oh, there there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? It's like a, it's, I don't know, there's almost a Captain Falcon-esque quality to it where it lurches you so far forward unexpectedly that uh, it sometimes catches people that were trying to, you know, go in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know how else to put it. Oh. This is the tough part with Falco. You just have to get that straight hit without putting yourself at too much danger. Yeah. Could this be jab, or at this point, is it too high percent to do jab back there? Oh, I, I think jab for sure. OK, OK. The thing with jab is, oh, that was kind of scary for, for Baby Carry. Oh, another port smash on the left side. From from trying to do side B's inv invincibility. <laughs> you know? it's a, it, uh, 
this, this is a low key. I, I, I hear more talk. Maybe I've just noticed more talk about it this year. Of like, oh, how do you deal with invincibility? A lot of people talking about. It. I think Jmook is like really good at abusing invincibility to get to come back in games where you're slightly behind. Uh, and I was like, that's true. This is just a long period of every game. There are, what, eight seconds probably in each game or, or, or six seconds of invincibility? Mm -hmm. What do you do with them? That whole thing is like a mini game in itself, and yeah. I think it's quite interesting. Some might call it a, a comeback mechanic, but... I would, yeah. Just like blue shells. <laughs> it's the classic. I don't think we have anything in Melee that's quite like blue shells. It's a blue shell world. We're all just living in it, you know? Uh... I don't like a light blue shell. <laughs> a light blue. Okay. Ah. And we got blue blue puff. I like blue a ba ba baby blue shell. Baby blue, yeah. That's a that's a nice color. A little aquamarine. Speaking of baby, baby carrot taking the the that's right. slight lead right now, and yet another forward smash on the left side by Peter. That's I guess that's the theme of this match. That's the story. Yeah, forward yeah, smash yeah. on the left side from Peter to end the stock. Are we going to see one more? Yeah. You ever seen The Godfather? It's the guy at the beginning. Uh, I, I believe in forward smash. That's how I feel playing that, this game. That's what they said. Yeah. That's what he said. He said that to The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe to his cat, you know. Uh, there was a lot of people in that room. Oh, I love that dash dance from Baby Carrot. Oh, that was actually cute. Cool. Uh, doing the little, like, Falco backflip to kind of get ready for uh, a tech chase. <gasps> Ooh. I, I just, oh, oh, I love the attempt from Peter, but that is going to end the stock. Baby Carrot taking game one. Yeah. Not falling to another forward smash from Jigglypuff on no. the other side. The line must be drawn here. Baby uh, Carrot has had enough. Yeah. I think that uh, Peter, there's this thing that sometimes happens. There was a rest available to Peter on that side B, right? Or at least a grab that might have been up to a rest. And I think sometimes in melee, you realize that you missed an opportunity for a certain move. And this is a, a common way that you can read your opponent. When they miss an opportunity to use a certain move, it's almost like it gets stuck in their head and it, they're gonna try to do it soon. Because uh, that rest on the, on oh. the oh, no. Well, that rest, yes. So the rest on the platform, I feel like, was like, dang, I should have gotten the rest earlier and now I'm gonna try again and kind of force it. I will say, Florida is the land of puffs who are down to rest on last stock and lose the game if they miss. <laughs> they will gamble the times? whole game on it. Yeah. I, I will say that the the rest attempt from Peter was good. Now let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. Going for the other yeah. up air. Maybe a little bit afraid to go just for the straight like tech trap or the reaction tech chase. But yeah. due to what happened in game one, which is fair. Oh, I like that nair from Baby Carrot. Yeah. And just generally how Baby Carrot is playing, especially the top platform game, I think that's like a style that we've been seeing a lot right now from Falco, just taking the top platform, coming down with down air or something like that if the Jigglypuff tries to challenge from below. And if the Jigglypuff kind of hides under the platform, they'll uh, kind of short hop through the platform and attack that way. Yeah. So Falco can kind of really just choose when they're going to come in pretty safely. So Baby Carrot doing a little bit of that style right now. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, I wonder if that was, was that also how it, how it kind of played out game one, because then it would maybe behoove Peter to go to a place like Pokemon Stadium uh, for for future games. Huh. Yeah. I I think there was not as much of that style, and, and even right now, I think Baby Carrot's kind yeah. of just gone back to playing kind of like a normal Falco style, right? Yeah. It's almost like the top platform is is a little is a little gas stop, right? You fill up, you get a little safe space. Uh, and maybe you get an opening, but it just takes Puff too long to get up there for, for it to be a, a, a really scary spot to go to. Puff's got many jumps and a lot of like horizontal movement, but vertical movement honestly can, can take a little a little moment compared to Falco. Right. Okay, almost gets the KO there. She has a lot of vertical height that she can get, but as you were saying, it just takes a long time. Okay. Ooh. Wow. You're like, you're right. Just down to go for it, let yeah. it rip on the last stock, even if Baby Carrot got the DI down or whatever to get KO'd a little bit faster to come back for the rest punish, but doesn't get it there. Ah. Ooh, what an escape, what an escape. Oh, wait, this is, okay. Peter yeah. dropping the, the up throw follow up. Yeah, and then, and then doing grab three more times because it was supposed to work. <gasps> Good ledge grab, but wow, what a nair. Oh, still alive, still alive. 
Baby Carrot <laughs> took the took his hands off the controller for a second. Oh my God! Oh, wow! Oh, took his hands off the controller mm -hmm. to losing. True combo. Yeah, true, it is. Uh, shout outs to Lucky. Uh, that <laughs> that whole thing. Th he's not alone. That's crazy. just the most famous. But mm -hmm. but the thing about things happening in like melee brackets on stream, it's very rare that something's happened on stream that some, that a crazier version of it hasn't happened off stream at a local in 2013. That is crazy to think about. I wholeheartedly agree with you, and I actually don't want to live in that universe, really. My hand? That's, oh, my gosh. There's a lot of melee. There, there has been a lot of melee. Undocumented. <laughs> Undocumented melee. Fortunately or unfortunately. All right, game three, Peter versus Baby Carrot. It's been 1-1. One, one. And now we know the path. Oh, oh that was kind of scary yeah. for, for Peter right there. Yeah. That, oh, that. So that that whole thing is really scary because as Falco, you can just go for the short hop down air. Yeah. And if you have enough confidence or just have insane reaction times, you can just get it. But okay, doesn't matter. Baby Carrot gets the 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 kind of easier conversion there because Peter kind of di'd in there, unfortunately for him. Oh. Oh, oh okay. no uh, rest. No rest. That, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm with you there. That was free. Yeah. I always Ooh. like hold my breath after a player kind of <gasps> doesn't get a relatively straightforward option, and I'm like, how are they gonna recover? What what, what are they gonna do next? That's a that's a big thing, right? Because it's like if something doesn't go right, or if you kind of mess up a little bit, like how do you how do you stay composed, right? And that's yeah. a that's a big piece of melee right there. And honestly, I think at the uh, when you're you know fighting in your early pools, uh, especially if you're kind of newer to the scene. You gotta be nice to yourself. It it really is okay to to make a lot of mistakes. Uh, most people are gonna make a lot of mistakes the whole time they always play the game. And uh, when you look back at your sets, most of us can get pretty smart at the game and, and see where the mistakes are. But uh, uh, execution's hard. It's it's a different skill set to be in the game and, and you know beyond the Pokemon Stadium <laughs> at CEO. Love that renewable energy from the windmill. <laughs> yeah, how many kilowatts is it charging? Oh, uh, we got to quantify at least, this. At least enough to, to power these transformations. That's that's true, and the giant screen. There's a lot yeah. of electricity. Look at the lights in the background. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on right mm -hmm. now. The giant screen is a crazy detail. Just a, a, as a melee game player, that that they just do our job for us. <laughs> yeah, it. it <laughs> It tells you who's winning. There's the clock. Yeah. Do you think the, the windmill powers the city in the background? See you that? Know, I hope so. I hope so. That's that's a feature that we want. That's right. All right. Meanwhile, Baby Carrot quietly four-stalking Peter. Yep. Uh, I think there was uh, there was some I should have won last game energy in this game. Uh, lots of like down air tech chases, uh, racking up immense percent very quickly. And then at that point, it's like, hey, let's 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 have a down air party. There definitely, it definitely feels like there's a little bit of confidence here, and I think that the, the stage just being a little bit bigger uh -huh. allowed Baby Care to play. Well, I guess less of the. Okay, well, doesn't matter. Well, okay, hold on. Oh, no, that's uh, you gotta side me a little. Oh yeah. So, as you were saying, Jigglypuff there, it actually might have been close, but I think with the rising pound and and like staggering the rising pound with like a just like the jump. Jigglypuff can get from very low yeah. to very high. It just takes some time. I think I think Peter might have been it. I think that might have been right. it. I'm done. 